Hey everyone, so here's a quick tutorial on how to use the updated Avedis Plus virtual machine. It's gonna come here, say download VM installer. Then in your browser, it's gonna pop up this, asking you to download it. Then you can close out of the app and then you're gonna have a zip folder called virtual machine.zip. Click on it, right click and say extract all, just say extract. And as soon as it's done, you're gonna have a folder like this called virtual machine. Click inside it and then you're gonna see an exe here called Avedis VM installer. Just double click that. And this is the virtual machine installer. You just click install. This power PowerShell script is going to set up the network for inside the virtual machine. When it's done, it's going to ask you to press enter. So just press enter. And then it's going to install the virtual machine where the Evadis app is installed. If you installed your Evadis app in a different location than the default, you're going to have to select it here. Mine was in the default, so it found it easily. And there we go. Now you can just press launch application. Anyway, then you can go over to the Evadis Plus tab. You can customize your resources. I'm going to select four CPU cores and eight, gig eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to say save configuration. I'm going to press start virtual machine. If it's your first time using the virtual machine, just make sure to follow these instructions. Then I'm going to press continue. Here we go. Password is one, two, three. Just going to say yes. Doesn't really matter. And as usual, you can select your webcam and microphone from this list if you want to. I'm not going to for this example. So this update brings a lot of new updates to the cursor, stealth, and a couple other things as well. And you can like alt tab out of it like this. And then the virtual machine still looks like there's someone inside of it. And now you can pretty much do anything you want. So now that I'm in the host machine here, I can take screenshots of my screen like that. And then I can go into say Claude or ChatGPT or whatever you want to do. And then you can paste in those screenshots and everything. And the virtual machine is not going to know what's going on because it's a separate machine. Let's quickly go over some undetectability features. So if we go into the PC name, we can also see when the virtual machine was installed. So here it has a random name with a legitimate processor. Yeah, it says it was installed in 2023, around about December. If we go and check the Mac address, you'll see that it is a legit one from Intel, I'm pretty sure. It's not a VMware Mac address or something like that. If we go into device manager, you'll see we have a complete completely legitimate SSD as well when it comes to monitors, network adapters, processors. If we go into task manager, you'll see under performance here, our CPU is completely legit, running on eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD. And if we run something like DXDiag to do some more advanced searching, you'll also see it's completely legitimate motherboard from gigabyte. Go into display, nothing weird. Sound, nothing weird. Input, nothing weird. I'll just quickly show you the most important thing about the virtual machine if you want to use it for yourself. Come into File Explorer, go into Documents, Setup Scripts, go to Customizer, right click it, say Run with PowerShell. It's going to ask for permissions to say yes. Then it's going to run a couple of scripts and you'll see what it does when we boot back into the virtual machine. This is sometimes going to happen, by the way, when the virtual machine tries to restart itself, it does crash. It only ever happens when you try to restart it. The virtual machine never randomly crashes. It's only when you try to restart it. So don't freak out if that happens to you. Anyway, when we boot up the virtual machine again and now you see here we have a completely different desktop background with completely different desktop icons if we go into check the pc name again you see that now it's a completely different pc name with a different os install date this one was installed somewhere in 2025 go into device manager now you'll also see that we have a different ssd and if we check our motherboard You'll also see that we have a different motherboard, still from Gigabyte, but a different one. So nothing weird with display, sound, or input. We also have a different Mac address and a couple of other randomized things as well. But I'm actually going to prove that it works instead of just showcasing features. I'm going to download Safe Exam Browser because from what my research shows, it's the best virtual machine detection. And I'm going to show how I do the whole thing so that people don't say I have some type of modified copy of Safe Exam Browser. And there we go. Probably the most secure lockdown browser cheated pretty damn easily. You can now use Claude if you want to. You can use ChatGPT if you want to. You can watch YouTube if you want to. How you would realistically do it is you would have, say, your exam right here. And you can just take a screenshot, like, say, that. If you can come on in here, and then you can just paste it like that. This works with responders. It works with Guardian browser, works with literally everything. We recently also massively dropped the price for Evadis Plus as well, because I want to get more people using it, more people cheating, you know. So if you want to use it, uh, link in the description. It's pretty damn cheap and you get unlimited usage. So yeah, guys, uh, merry cheating.